Welcome to our comprehensive exploration of China's latest naval aviation marvel, the Shenyang J-35 Stealth Fighter Jet. Today, we'll delve into the intricate details of the J-35's development, its significance for China's aircraft carrier operations, and the broader implications for global naval aviation. This story covers the timeline, technical specifications, and strategic importance of the J-35, emphasizing its deployment on the Fujian, China's newest and most advanced aircraft carrier. Join us as we journey through the fascinating evolution of the J-35, from its early prototypes to its current status as a key asset in China's military arsenal. The journey of the J-35 began with its land-based predecessor, the Shenyang FC-31. Initially unveiled as a scale model at the Zhuhai Air Show in 2012, the FC-31 marked China's ambitions to develop a fifth-generation stealth fighter capable of rivaling the American F-35. However, it wasn't until October 2021 that the first navalized prototype of the J-35 took to the skies. This prototype, bearing the serial number 350001, was distinctive with its blue-green primer finish. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos and join our community of the significance of this maiden flight cannot be overstated. It represented a major leap in China's naval aviation capabilities, signaling the country's intent to field a stealthy carrier-based fighter. This move was particularly noteworthy as China's two operational carriers at the time, Liaoning Type 001 and Shandong Type 002, primarily deployed the J-15, a derivative of the Russian Su-33. The introduction of a stealth fighter like the J-35 was expected to greatly enhance the plan's operational flexibility and combat effectiveness. In July 2022, the second J-35 prototype, serial number 350003, was spotted. Unlike its predecessor, this version sported a low-visibility grey tactical paint scheme, suggesting advancements in stealth features and operational readiness. This sighting further solidified the belief that the J-35 was progressing rapidly through its development phases. Observers noted several refinements in the second prototype, including a more integrated airframe design and improved avionics. These changes were aimed at reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section and enhancing its survivability in hostile environments. The second prototype also featured an updated canopy and landing gear, hinting at its navalization for carrier operations. Speculation about a third prototype surfaced in September 2023. Though the imagery was not clear enough to definitively identify the aircraft as a J-35, it was widely believed to be another step in the jet's iterative development process. By this time, the J-35 was attracting significant attention both domestically and internationally, with analysts keenly observing its progress. The third prototype, if indeed a J-35, would mark a crucial phase in the fighter's maturation. Each new iteration brought the aircraft closer to full operational status, paving the way for its eventual deployment on China's aircraft carriers. China's first two aircraft carriers, Liaoning and Shandong, are configured for short takeoff but arrested recovery Stobar, operations. This involves launching aircraft via a ski jump ramp and recovering them using arrestor wires. While effective, this method imposes limitations on the aircraft's payload capacity, as they must take off with reduced fuel and weapons loads. Initially, it was assumed that the J-35 would be reserved for future carriers equipped with catapults, enabling catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery catabar, operations. However, recent imagery and reports indicate that the plan might be planning to operate the J-35 from Liaoning and Shandong as well. This strategy would allow the plan to gain valuable experience with the new fighter, even if its operational performance would be somewhat constrained by the Stobar configuration. The Type 003 carrier Fujian represents a significant shift in China's naval strategy. Launched on June 17, 2022, Fujian is the plan's first Catabar carrier, equipped with advanced electromagnetic aircraft launch system, AMALS, catapults. This system allows aircraft to take off with heavier payloads, significantly enhancing their operational range and combat effectiveness. 
Fujian's design eliminates the ski jump ramp in favor of catapults, enabling a broader range of aircraft operations, including those of heavier and slower non-fighter designs such as carrier-based radar planes and unmanned aerial vehicles. This capability is a game-changer for the plan, aligning it more closely with the operational doctrines of the U.S. and French navies, which have long employed catabar carriers. In early 2024, images emerged of J-35 and J-15 mock-ups on the deck of Liaoning. These mock-ups are used for deck handling trials and training purposes, allowing the plan to practice moving and managing these aircraft on the carrier's flight deck. The presence of these mock-ups suggests that the plan is preparing for the eventual integration of the J-35 into its carrier wings, even before Fujian becomes fully operational. The mock-ups also serve another purpose, they provide insights into how the J-35 will operate alongside existing aircraft such as the J-15. This integration is crucial for developing effective carrier air wing strategies and ensuring smooth operations once the J-35 enters active service. Design and Stealth Features The J-35 boasts several design features aimed at enhancing its stealth capabilities. The aircraft's airframe is highly integrated, with minimal exposed panels, gaps, and fasteners. This seamless design reduces the radar cross-section, making the J-35 harder to detect by enemy radar systems.